US and China are fighting a war. This is not a regular war. There is no army. There is no battlefield. They are fighting our chips, semiconductor, tiny fragments of silicon that power our lives. Semiconductors lie at the heart of the tech war between the West, led by the US and China. These tiny chips are today's new oil, the power behind all modern technology and increasingly seen as the biggest geopolitical prize. Semiconductors or microchips are tiny pieces of technology that power everything from microwaves to military weapons. The industry is worth more than 580 billion dollars and are forecast to become a 1 trillion dollar industry by 2030. Their existence powers several trillion dollars worth of goods and processes. Without them, the global economy would shudder to a halt. It's therefore a source of concern to many that over 90% of the world's semiconductors are made in the place many US officials think could be the site of the next global conflict. Taiwan If China were to annex Taiwan, which US officials believe could be attempted in the next decade, it like the rest of the world would find its supply of semiconductors massively disrupted. The United States has moved to block China's access to the most advanced semiconductors and the equipment and talent needed to make them. China adopts tit for tat strategy. China has banned an American company, a memory chip giant called Micron. China says Micron products are national security risk and there is a major escalation in chip war. China has poured billions of dollars into building the technology to manufacture semiconductors. In 2021, China imported semiconductors worth $430 billion, more than it spent on oil. Nowhere is their essential nature more visible than in China, the world's second largest economy which relies on a steady supply of foreign chips for its huge electronics manufacturing base. China's semiconductor industry went from having about 1300 registered companies to 22,800 companies. But the growth has been concentrated in manufacturers that produce chips that are bigger and less technologically advanced. The most up-to-date chips are 5 nanometers or smaller. China's industry is mostly dominated by chips that are 24 nanometers or above. Last year, China's Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, the country's biggest chip maker, was reported to have produced a 7 nanometer chip, which will represent a jump of two generations in terms of technological progress. In summary, the competition of a semiconductor chips between the US and China is driven by economic, technological, national security and geopolitical factors. It reflects the broader tensions in their relationship and their efforts to secure their positions in the global technology landscape.